Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Kamilia Zahra Alamsyah and my BP number is 2010732032. And in this video, I would like to present another uh, point, another things regarding to uh, our uh, subject introduction to discourse uh, analysis. So today is about discourse and power, which is related to this uh, critical discourse analysis. So there will be several points I would like to explain later, which are first is what is CDA, uh, then history of CDA, there are also some basic terms or tools. Uh, next is about some example of CDA practices and definition of CDA or CDS. And last is about the three samples or examples of CDA uh, studies. So first, uh, let's talk about what is CDA. So CDA is uh, terms for uh, stands for critical discourse analysis, which is a method in discourse that studies with the aim of the analysis to detect societal problems, especially discriminations. Here, discourse is seen as a reflection of the power relations in society. The term critical means that analysis cannot be neutral or free of values. And also, uh, the, another, uh, the another aim of CDA is not uh, only to detect manipulation or discrimination, but also to understand the essence of this societal, societal problems. In the view of a critical, discourse analysis must have uh, the aim to empowering powerless groups or uh, also be called minorities. CDA pays much attention to power relations and ideology and also forces the reader or listeners to perceive reality in a specific biased way. In CDA or critical discourse analysis, uh, it is more attempts are being made to ground analysis and interpretation of power relations on systematic descriptions of discourse. Next is the history of CDA. So CDA is a cross-discipline set forward in the early 90s or 1990s by a group of scholars such as Theo van Leeuwen, Gunter Kress, Ten van Tick, Norman Verkloh, and Red Wada. They spent two days together and had the opportunity to discuss theories and uh, methods of CDA. In the process, some of the scholars previously aligned that CDA have chosen other theoretical frameworks and distanced them themselves from CDA. Uh, the start of the CDA network was marked by the launch of Van Jack's journal, uh, which is Discourse and Society on 1990. In general, CDA as a school or paradigm, paradigm is characterized by a number of principles. For example, all approaches are problem-oriented and thus necessarily interdisciplinary and electric. electric. Moreover, CDA is characterized by the common interest in demystifying ideologies and power through the systematic and repro reproducible investigation of semiotic data. Next is about some basic terms or tools. So here we have discourse. Uh, the term discourse are explained in several ways. Uh, for example, first refers to all the phenomena of symbolic interaction and communication between people which are sometimes written, so, uh, spoken, or uh, in a visual. Also, discourse indicate to spoken interactions uh, which are through communication of thought by speech, talk, and conversations. But nowadays, discourse is used generally as what I mentioned before in uh, not only in spoken but also written or even visual. Sometimes, in contrast with text, uh, discourse uh, refers to the whole act of communications involving production and comprehension and also frequently used to refer to general communication that takes place in specific institutional uh, contexts. <coughs> Uh, next is uh, the terms tax. 
So text is normally used to describe a linguistic record or text of a communicative event. Next, we have domain that uh, used for a socially recognized context within which the discourse takes place. We have other we have social practice, which is human behaviors that involve following certain socially established conventions or rules within the actors that have some degree of individual freedom and opportunities for unique behavior. For example, uh, business meetings, religious services, birthday parties, and others. Next, we have genre. So, genre is used for a specific product of social practice. It is a form of discourse which obeys socially agreed structures. For example, genre in literary and linguistics are novels, poems, university lectures, biology lab reports, letters, and uh, theater views. Genre can be classified cr crudely or more delicately. Next, we have speech community and discourse community. So, speech community is generally used to refer a group of speakers who shares common features of language because they frequently interact with each other. Discourse community is an extension of the idea to refer to communities where the people concerned may meet frequently or rarely or sometimes not at all but still communicate and develop specific discourses. Speech act. Here, uh, terms of speech act is to uh, observe uh, by uh, by using speech act. It is uh, observed that in certain contexts, utterances can perform elocutionary act, not simply report on facts or give information. Next, we have participant and social roles, where the participants are people engaged in a specific act of discourse, such as speakers, listener, readers, and writers with their own social roles. The role is what we're doing in life. We have next is ideology. It's a set of beliefs or attitudes shared by members of a particular social group. And last, we have frame. Frame is used to describe cognitive models that links together separate entities in our mind. Uh, the next point is some examples of CDA practices. First is uh, advertisement, which uh, which is analyzing the awareness of advertisement, criminality, which includes the identification of criminals, police interviewing techniques, conventions, and cross examination in uh, court. Uh, CDA could discover a great deal about what was going on in such a situation, but in order to enact change. Other professionals would need to be involved, perhaps uh, others such as child psychologists, social workers, and certainly, of course, teachers. CDA is a great scope for uh, the research because it is related and uh, useful. The next two points I would like to explain will be uh, explained in the other's video. Uh, after this video is uploaded. Thank you for listening on my first CDA discussion or presentation. Uh, sorry for mistakes. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.